gingerbread man in a gingerbread house. Hey guys, welcome back. You wanna say welcome back? No. You wanna open this video up? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Amanda. So glad you're here. And this is Flashlight. Say hello. Say hello. It is flashy. Mm -hmm. But today we are putting up our Christmas tree. I'm so excited. He's excited too. What? You want a piece of cheese? A piece of cheese? Oh. Okay. But. If you're serving others, you don't have time to judge. I love you. I love you. I do. I love you so much. Are you going to be a big help tonight? Listen, are you going to put the tree up tonight? The Grinch? We're going to have the Grinch? Yes, the Grinch. Are you so excited? Do you want your house decorated? Do you want your house decorated? Do you want your case decorated? Yeah. Do you want your bed decorated like gingerbread? Here, you need to go potty. Allie. Oh. You go. Giving you a smile. I can sing to the away. So on Sunday, we bought a Cricut. We have a Cricut Joy, but we bought the big full-size Cricut so we could make some just bigger things and maybe some decals for some walls or signs or whatever when we're doing home makeovers. So we thought that would be beneficial. We were going to put a big Dallas Cowboy star on Jalen's wall, but with the Cricut Joy, you can only print something that's like five and a half inches. So we had to scratch that, but we just thought it would come in handy. So all day long on Monday, I was making shirts for people that Heather works with. They wear pink on Wednesdays. So I made her and a few others a shirt that says on Wednesdays we wear pink. And then a lot of other people wanted some. So she brought some shirts home from that. And then we also have like the Griswold Family Christmas. We have that template. You can customize it. So it's going to say her school name, Family Christmas, instead of Griswold. So that's super cute. So she got some shirts for that. And then a coworker of hers was having a birthday party. So she sent some shirts for that. And we've just got so many shirts to make. My mom wants an ATSU shirt. We're going to make some Christmas shirts. And I'll show you a couple of the shirts that I had already made, just trying it out and getting the hang of it. We had got some Christmas stuff out of our shed, out of our garage. So Heather and Allison wanted me to wait on them to decorate the trees. So I just went ahead and decorated a few things like what I could. I took all my fall stuff out and just some home decor that I needed to take out to put Christmas stuff up in its place. And I had to do some rearranging. Last year, I didn't have this little shelf and chair area. This little table was over there. So we have a little bit more furniture this year and I'm not so sure I like the dining room rearranged like this, but I just had to try to make it work. So I don't know yet. Y'all can tell us what you think in the end, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing all of this stuff that we've got to decorate for Christmas. I show you guys everything. So I hope it gives you guys some ideas or motivation or whatever to decorating for Christmas. I know it's early, but it's never too early to celebrate the birth of Christ. three different Christmas trees that we put up. We have one that's 12 foot and it's just pretty stuff like flowers and balls and just picks from Hobby Lobby and it is so pretty. I've never had a tree like that and I always wanted one. Heather always wanted a huge tree, she said. She was never a really big on decorating for Christmas. Her ex-husband just didn't get into it and 
she seen this 12 foot tree on clearance. It was like a three or four hundred dollar tree and we got it for a hundred dollars because it didn't have a box. So we just bought two bags. We stuffed two pieces in each bag because it is four pieces, but it is the prettiest tree ever. And then we have a Grinch tree that we put up in the dining room. And then I put up just an old fashioned tree, just things that my kids have made over the years, ornaments that they've picked out, things like that, that I just can't let go of. So I love just an old fashioned tree. I was always big on putting ornaments that my kids made at school or church or wherever up. Those are important to them. And when I look back on them, it just takes me back to the time when they were little and made those things. So let me know, do you put things like that up on a tree, things your kids made? Do you let them hang it? Or do you just have a show tree? Last year we found this tree on Black Friday and it didn't have a box it was just a display tree and we got it for like a little over $100 it was like crazy cheap so Heather had to have it this is Heather's tree so you just plug it in and as you join the next piece it automatically lights up so I'm always afraid as we go to put that on there that it's not gonna light up and there's my child with some kind of strip on her nose I don't know but last year we did not have a big ladder we just had like a step ladder so we pulled the dining room table over put the ladder on it to get to the top of the tree and we still couldn't reach the very top it's a 15 foot ceiling so we bought a 22 foot ladder for that just to paint and trim around that so now at least this year we've got a big ladder when it comes time to decorate so i fluffed this top piece before i put it on i watched michelle o'malley i don't know if you guys know her watch her anything like that but she bought an extra tree stand so her next piece that goes up she'll put it on her extra tree stand fluff that piece and then put it up and she'll do the same because she has a 12 foot tree as well so i didn't have an extra stand but i did want to go ahead and fluff it before you put it up there then you can kind of fluff it final touches whatever i'm the worst tree fluffer in the world if there is a trick to this let me know because i'm terrible at it but i went ahead and fluffed that so she could put that up and wouldn't have to be up there trying to reach because we didn't want to break out the big ladder just yet on this knot
Okay, it is the next day. Um, Heather is at work. I just dropped Allison off at school. And we are going to decorate some more for Christmas. I'm not going to do everything just because I want them to be a part of it too. But I'm going to go ahead and get all my trees up and maybe get the decor out. Maybe decorate one of the trees. But um, as far as the Grinch tree and the big tree behind me, I'm going to wait on Heather and Allison to do that. Kennedy actually wanted me to wait on her, but Kennedy doesn't know when she's going to be home, when she when she can, when she can't. So I don't, I don't know. She's just, she may just have to come home and enjoy the decor because I don't really know that we're going to get a chance to do that with her. On Thursday and Friday, I'm going to Shonda's house to help her decorate for Christmas. If y'all seen her home tour, her home is beautiful. She just moved in. So I cannot wait to decorate that house for Christmas. She has the best taste. She has 24 totes of Christmas stuff. So I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. But we are gonna take this guy to party and then we're gonna get this house decorated for Christmas. You go party? Oh, you go party. yesterday and she got some things for okay let me explain so we put up the 12 foot tree and it's just like our pretty tree it's just got flowers and balls just pretty decor that's all we put on that tree then we have a Grinch tree so we put that up in the dining room our Grinch decor in our dining room so then I have just an old-fashioned tree just a tree that's got all of the ornaments the kids have picked out from the time they were babies on up, things they've made at school, kind of weeded through those and just put up the things that are still good. Some of the little paper stuff, you know, I've just still boxed up. But anyway, Heather got some things just for our normal tree. It is pre-lit. Half of the lots didn't work last year. So she got some purple lots for that tree. So anyway... I know she got some purple lights. That's all I know. So let's see what she got. So she got a tangled mess is what she got. Two of these and two of these. I think she said to stick down on the top of the tree. She got two of these. Those are cute. She got two of these. I'm assuming there's two. Two of those. She got two of those. Those are cute. Two of these. And she got two of these, two packs of these. I think those might be my favorite. Four boxes of these. I wanna see what these look like. I wanna see like what color purple they actually love it. Oh, those are pretty. Can you guys see those? I love opening bins like this because you forget year to year what you've got, what you bought. I did watch some of our Christmas video from last year. I'll link those videos below just to kind of see what we had to kind of fill out what I need to get rid of off the walls and things like that. But here, let's look. Ornaments. Dang, I did pretty good packing all of it. Okay, so that's 
Um, nosy, nosy, no, 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 no. That's not balls. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. No, 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 no. Oh, watch your ears. Watch your ears. That is just flowers and picks. Flashlight, what are you doing? Grinch ornaments and decor. Okay, okay. Flash, flash, no. Flash, uh-uh, hey! No, sir, no. No. A shower curtain, um, nosy. Uh-uh, nope, that's for your doghouse. Oh, Lord, that hat. Oh, it's the Grinch, she's gonna get you. He might get you. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean, yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing, yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time This little Grinch on the tricycle or scooter, whatever it is We found that at Home Depot. It's $29. I think that's a little pricey, but Heather bought it anyway So anyway, she got it because she wanted to play with the cats and flash with it And he's not so sure what to think of it So he's not real sure about the Grinch and Allison wore that hat all season last year. She turned me crazy with it. Last year, we bought the big stuffed Grinch, like the three-fit stuffed Grinch that you've seen in that tub. And Flash has only had like two accidents in the house. When we brought him home as a puppy, he peed in the house like two times. Other than that, he went outside. He'll go to the door and bark. He will not use the bathroom in the house ever. No matter what, he goes outside. So we pulled that Grinch out of the bag and he peed everywhere. It scared him to death, <laughs> but he's warmed up to him a little bit now, but we thought that was so funny. I hated that it scared him that bad and we had no idea that it would. We have a remote control truck that we play with him with and he is a little unsure about that, but he's gotten better with stuff like that. But last year he was so pitiful when he peed everywhere with that Grinch. We also have a Grinch train and he'll carry it around everywhere. He'll get it, he'll snatch it every single chance he gets. When you turn the switch on and it starts playing music and going, he is so afraid of that too. So he is just so cute, I love him so much. He is a lot of work, but I love him. We also have a flag for our front porch, a Grinch flag, and then we also have a shower curtain and rugs that are Grinch. We bought that on Amazon last year. So we really enjoy all this Grinch stuff. We just think it's super cute. I love the Grinch movie. I told you guys about that a video or two back, but I will be sure and link all the Christmas videos from last year. They were a little cringy looking back on them. Like I can tell I've gotten a little bit better at editing and voiceovering, but those are fun to watch. We had a lot of fun. We like to have a lot of fun. I know there's been some people say I'm trying to imitate this person or that person, and we are not. We are just ourselves. We act like ourselves. We'll never be anything different. The people that knows us personally and knows our personality can vouch for that. We are just who we are. We are plain people. We act crazy all the time, and sometimes I just leave a little bit of it in. <laughs> Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you. I'm going to go ahead and read my devotional to you guys today. And today I chose this one. It is the table. It is Luke 2, 8 through 10. If you want to read that. 
The Christmas season is like no other. You're invited to Christmas parties where you get to dress up and make your favorite appetizer. You can snuggle up on the couch and drink hot chocolate while watching old classics as your Christmas tree lights twinkle behind you. You can get together with your friends who are in different stages of their life and have a memorable night of laughter and fun. This season almost feels magical. One of the best areas to experience this time of year is around the table. Something beautiful happens when friends and family gather around the table. The conversation can lead almost anywhere. The beauty of the Christmas season is discovered in smiles, laughter, and joy-filled memories. In this season, is there a time you can gather loved ones together and have a laughter-filled evening? Christmas is hands down my favorite time of the year. It's a time that I see family that I don't see often, but it's just a magical time for me. I love spending time with my family. I love having my family around me and just eating, giving gifts, seeing them small, seeing my kids or my family receive gifts that they have wanted so badly. I just love Christmas. Love it. But I know that's not the experience for everyone. I know a lot of people have a deep sadness this time of year. Whether you're grieving the death of a loved one or grieving not getting to see your kids or your grandkids or grieving that your parents aren't any longer here with you, I understand that it's not a happy time for everyone. I encourage anybody that can make amends with any family or friends that you're not talking to or you're not speaking to, but you love so deeply, it might just be the season to reconcile. Be the bigger person and say you're sorry first. Even if you feel like it wasn't you, is it really worth holding on to a grudge to not get to spend time with your family? If you can make things right, make things right. And I know that's not always the case for everyone. Sometimes you have to love from a distance. My prayer for you this season is that you find peace and you find happiness and you feel loved and you have your family around you. You know, even if you're grieving over the loss of a loved one, just to remember the promise of heaven, be thankful that one day you will get to be around the table with your loved ones again. What would we do without the promise of heaven? But I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. You all mean the world to me. I'm fixing to go to Shonda's house and decorate for Christmas on Thursday and Friday. It's going to be so much fun. She sent me a picture of just a couple things she had. And she had these Christmas carolers. I'll insert a picture here. Oh my gosh. I was like, shut up. If those things sing, I am done. But it was adorable. I cannot wait to see all of her Christmas stuff. She's a little bit extra, but I love it. I love that about her. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll throw another video up of us decorating our trees and the rest of our house for Christmas. And I'll throw Shonda's up. I'll have her Christmas decor. And then I'll hop back over to my brother's and one day finish his kitchen cabinets. But right now, we're just having fun, spending time together, decorating for Christmas. But I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. Always remember that. No matter what, unconditionally, he loves you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Look, you want this? Please don't chew that flower up. It was probably $5. Here, here. Come here. Flash, come here. Please don't, you want a piece of cheese? Come here. I'll trade you. Trade you my $5 flower for a piece of cheese. Shake. See it? Shake. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, pretty much stuff alone. Flash, tell everybody, say, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Come here. Tell them, say, we're going to make my gingerbread doghouse. 
Do you wanna make your gingerbread doghouse or a Snoopy doghouse? Huh? How about a naughty doghouse? That's what you need. Uh-uh, uh-uh, he'll get you. Leave him alone. So I got a new Cricut for, uh, I was gonna say for Christmas. Christmas is just on the brain. I got a new Cricut and we are loving it. We made this shirt. Hustle until your haters ask if you're hiring. We thought that was cute. And we made this one. I'd rather be someone's shot of whiskey than everyone's cup of tea. I made Allison a volleyball shirt. She's got that on today. I had a shirt on earlier that you've seen. Can't throw stones while washing feet. And I thought, how true is that? If you're busy serving others, you have no time to be in someone else's business or gossip. And that's what we need to focus on. And then we made this one. I had it on earlier. I don't know if you guys could see for my hair. But I thought that was super cute too. And then, of course, okay, so we found this at Bucky's, the convenience store, Bucky's, for Baby Girl. And a lot of people have asked me where I get my shirts, like the one that says love, like whatever. Um, just all of the little religious shirts. Some of those are from um, our local Bible bookstore, which is where my daughter works. But a lot of those are from Becky's. They have a lot of shirts like that that are so cute. But we made Miss Lakely a little, uh oh, Miss Lakely a shirt. And we got her some black pants to go with that shirt. This one, my aunt hit stingers. ETSU number 29. I almost put um, War Strikes Out looking on the back, but I was nice, Kennedy. We got her some little yellow pants to go with that because that is navy. It looks a little black on camera. Got her a, a pair of pants to go with that yellow and then a yellow little bow. Likely this one. ETSU softball. So this is what baby girl got out of my t-shirt making adventures. Showed me make the broken things new. Yeah.